Netflix has blessed us with some truly great television shows like Stranger Things, The Queen's Gambit, and The Crown. It's also cursed us when chronic indecision, leaving us scrolling down the Netflix main page for hours just trying to pick something to watch. The overwhelming amount of shows and movies can be chowed up to Netflix's dual gifts of acquiring great shows to stream and producing tons of original content, but if there's always something new on Netflix, how are we supposed to choose? Generally speaking, a good strategy is to only watch the good Netflix shows but finding out which ones are good take time. Let us carry some of that burden in. List the best new Netflix original series released in the past 12 months. 1. Squid Game. Do we really have to recap? Netflix's South Korean super hit Squid Game landed on the service in mid-September and exploded like none other, shattering the record for the most watched Netflix show of all time. The record has since been beaten by Arcane. It's dystopian premise in which undeaded civilians compete with each other in deathmatch versions of schoolyard games for money, is as dark as it comes but Squid Game's candy-colored aesthetic makes the deadly proceedings substantially creepier. Squid Game is a whip-smart satire that calls out the loss of individual humanity in late-stage capitalism, which for some weird reason resonated with millions of people all over the world. Alexis Ned, senior entertainment reporter, asterisk, how to watch Squid Game is now streaming on Netflix. 2. Arcane. It would have been so easy for Netflix's League of Legends TV show Arcane to be just okay. Nobody expects great things from video game adaptations in the first place and coasting on the worldwide appeal of LOL was always going to be an option for the show's creators. This is all to say that Arcane didn't have to go anywhere near as hard as it does, but it does. The results are spectacular. Arcane takes the premise and lore of League of Legends and makes it Marilith backdrop of a wholly engrossing tale of family, betrayal, inequality, and the generational cycle of violence. Its animation is also beyond top tier, with a one-of-a-kind combination of 3D and 2D that is as impressive during action sequences as it is simply setting the scene for the show's quieter moments. So, thanks for slapping so dang hard, Arcane. Season 2 is going to be a blast. And, how to watch, Arcane is now streaming on Netflix. 3. Shadow and Bone. Poor Alexi. Shadow and Bone is the rare book-to-TV adaptation that took full advantage of the time between publishing and premiere and used it to improve the source. Materials in multiple directions. Lee Bardugo's original novel was a smash hit, but Shadow and Bone the series makes the cast more diverse, adds a subplot. Starring characters from the Companion series Six of Crows, and brings forth some of the book's messed up romantic politics in a thoughtful and entertaining way. Casting Ben Barnes as the Darkling, long thought to be the ultimate fan cast, is only the very, very good looking cherry on top of a series that takes the thematic responsibilities of your fantasy seriously while being a dang entertaining show. And how to watch, Shadow and Bone is now streaming on Netflix. 4. Yasuki, LaShawn Thomas miniseries follows the life and legend of its title character, a black samurai who served Daimyo Oda Nobunaga. Years after Nobunaga's death, Yasuka lives as Yasin, a boatsman who shuttles villagers along the water and speaks little of his past. But a young girl with awesome power undoes Yasin's quiet life and alias thrusting him back into a world of warriors, magic and more. The show blends together sci-fi, fantasy, and history as only anime can with Lockheed Stanfield at the mic bringing Yasuki sublimely to life. Promo Kozla, entertainment reporter, asterisk, how to watch, Yasuki is now streaming on Netflix. 5. Sweet Tooth, Cry Along to Gus Story. Sweet Tooth was a surprisingly fantastical addition to the Netflix lineup this year and its big bet on childlike wonder paid off in spades. Even though its setting takes place after a deadly virus has decimated the human population and caused the collapse of civilization, yikes, Sweet Tooth is more of fairy to let old from the perspective of one of the other side effects of the apocalypse, a human-deer hybrid named Gus whose father sheltered him from the worst of the world until shelter became untenable. Gus' journey through the world he barely knew existed as a beautiful coming-of-age store with a talented supporting cast and a flawless cute to concerning ratio. An asterisk, how to watch, Sweet Tooth is now streaming on Netflix. 6. Hayai on the Hog, How African-American Cuisine Transformed America A laundry list of successful titles proves Netflix knows how to make a good cooking show. But High on the Hog is really more than that. In this stunning, four-part docuseries, food journalist Stephen Satterfield follows the journey of African cuisine across West Africa and the United States. It's a celebration of culture and cultural preservation that not only inspires but urges viewers to appreciate the complex origins of food and family tradition as part of our global history. Alison Foreman, entertainment reporter, asterisk, how to watch, The Eye on the Hog is now streaming on Netflix. 7. Masters of the Universe, Revelation. Masters of the Universe, Revelation is nostalgia first and foremost, but it's also far more than that. Kevin Smith's sequel to the classic 80s cartoon, 
series which owes its existence to a line of toys is peddling the idea that even the childhood things we remember most fondly can live on in new and updated forms, they can change as the world changes. Just as it is in Himan's Eternia, the magic may be fading, as it is in this new story, but fresh faces and new ideas are always waiting in the wings to save it. Adam Rosenberg, Senior Reporter. How to Watch, Masters of the Universe, Revelation is now streaming on Netflix. 8. Love is Blind, After the Altar. We're still eagerly waiting for Love is Blind Season 2 to send a new batch of sexy singles into Netflix's infamous dating pods. Thankfully, while we wait, we have Love is Blind, After the Altar, a juicy three-episode reality event that follows up with the contestants who appeared on the series 2. Jersago, nearly every member of the Season 1 cast returns, with major life developments and personal news to share. See who managed to make it and who well, didn't. Plus, the highly dramatic crossover event with a cast member from Too Hot to Handle sets off an all-time great reality TV storyline with Janina Ghibli and Damien Powers. AF. How to Watch, Love is Blind, After the Altar is now streaming on Netflix. 9. The Chair. The friendship between Bill and Juju is a highlight of The Chair. The Chair isn't without its flaws, but you do get a lot for a little with this smart dramedy from creators Amanda Peet and Annie Julia Wyman. Set on the Campus of the fictional Pembroke University, season 1 of The Chair follows English department head Dr. Ji Yoon Kim, Sandra Oh, as she grapples with a scandal involving her fellow professor and love interest Jade Duplass. Choppy pacing and some muddled messaging around cancel culture make this an imperfect yet worthy binge clocking in at 6 episodes in just 3 hours. AF. How to Watch The Chair is now streaming on Netflix. Asterisks asterisk indicate this entry previously appeared in another Mashable streaming list.